I'm Gail Trimble from Corpus Christi, Oxford 2009, uh, and I'm now a professional academic classicist at Oxford. Um, firstly, Gail, can I say it's a privilege and honour to talk to you. You know, you're, you're, one of the, you're one of the true icons of University Challenge for many people. Thank you. <laughs> Same to you, Bobby. Oh, thank you, thank you. No, uh, Honour's all mine. So I want to ask you, uh, Gail, what inspired you to get into quizzing? Was it something you had as a sort of childhood hobby or was it more at university? Um, I did start as a child actually, if you can call just watching University Challenge starting. Um, I actually remember when it came back um, with Jeremy Paxman for the first time, I must have been about 10 or 11, and I remember my parents saying, oh Gail, you'll like this. <laughs> uh, and I was then the person sort of, you know, shouting out all the answers at home. Um, so it was definitely a dream to be on University Challenge. And was there a stage in your experience where you realised when you were watching, actually, I'm quite good at this? Yeah, it was, it was kind of got, got more and more as I, as I watched it through my teenage years. And I tried several times to get onto a team um, with, with my, my college corpus and uh, eventually got on when I, I was a graduate student. So I was, felt very lucky that I finally made it there. Oh, the, the, the wait was definitely worth it. Um, when you look back in your experience, what are the sort of most memorable parts of that memory? Uh, I think from actually being on the show, um, definitely the final because we came from behind and it was a really um, sort of exciting team match. And I mean, that that's the one that I remember particular questions from and sort of friends in, in the audience and, and the just kind of sort of sporting triumph of, of getting there. So, so that was amazing. Um, obviously, after actually being on the show, I suddenly found myself as a celebrity for about two weeks, um, which was extremely strange. So I have all kinds of really weird memories from that, um, <laughs> like appearing in the centre spread of the Daily Star uh, under the headline, Sex Trimble. <laughs> and my brother and I, who, who were living together at the time, just sort of spent about a minute looking at this, thinking that that must be a pun. And, and, and you know, then we eventually worked out what it was trying to say but anyway um, <laughs> and um, the other one is probably uh, getting to be on the Today programme which is amazing which involved having to get in a taxi from my house in Oxford at four o'clock in the morning so I could get all the way to oh, Television Centre to be on the Today programme and BBC Breakfast and then taxied all the way back for nine o'clock to Oxford because I had a Latin grammar class to teach. Oh wow, that's dedication to the cause. Right? <laughs> that was the idea. So obviously that had an immediate impact in your life. Has it changed your life longer medium term or what sort of impact been? Um, I, I thought sort of not very much at the time really because because I, I sort of was able to have these sort of existential thoughts like sort of do I want to make radical changes in my life <laughs> um, and I decided actually no um, I was sort of happy with wh where I was going I knew I wanted to be an academic at that stage um, and so that was sort of quite a nice way of thinking of actually I don't want to really change my life um, but having said that, um, I think it has given me more confidence when I have had chances to um, appear in media things since. So I was just on In Our Time, for instance, talking about something that I know about, my specialist author, Catullus. Um, recommend that on, on iPlayer, I suppose. Um, and other bits and pieces that I've, I've done over the years. Um, I think it's just made me a little bit more, more confident that there'll be people out there who are interested in watching and listening to me. Absolutely. So do your kids know that mum is a quizzing legend? Well, the oldest is only four, so so sort of not really, but um, all of them have, uh, you know, sort of been a bit unsettled when, when Only Connect has been on, including when I was on that, um, also with their dad and, and with their uncle. Um, so so they, they have seen me quizzing on TV, even if it hasn't really gone in. So you get a chance to do much quiz, also you did Only Connect recently, with mm. your family, your classics job. Is there time for much quizzing outside of that, or is that challenging? No, no, not a lot, I have to say. Um, I, I do an online quiz league, Learned League, which is a lot of fun um, and is American, so it reminds me how much I don't know about American kind of quizzing culture. Um, but that's just sort of five minutes a day um, online. Um, but I am, I am senior member of the Oxford University Quiz Society, um, which mostly involves signing forms, but I, I feel I can kind of contribute um, <laughs> to, to quizzing culture by that. But I, I, don't, I wish I had time for more at the moment, I really do. Do you still have your plastic name tag from your series? I had to think about this when you said you were going to ask and then I remembered that it is in the bag of University Challenge in my loft um, which has you know sort of press clippings and things in it or not even clippings mostly it has whole newspapers because I was just a bit too traumatized to sort of really cut them all out of the newspapers um, but the nice things like the question cards from the final and, and the plastic name are, are in there as well. So do you have a, a favorite bit of trivia that you've picked up over the years you'd like to share with us? Okay, here, here is my bit of trivia. I don't know who will be interested in this, but, but <laughs> here goes. Um, 
Uh, as classicists, we're often interested in famous classicists of the past, uh, and there's a famous classicist called John Percival Postgate, who is a Victorian. He's actually a character in Tom Stoppard's play, The Invention of Love. Uh, and he was the grandfather of Oliver Postgate, who created Bagpuss, which is another of my great loves. I love Bagpuss. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much, Gail. So what we're going to end up is uh, with five questions, this or that. So you have to, so it might be um, red or yellow, and you have to pick which colour. Okay. So there's five of them. So let's start. Um, let's get this horses. Okay. Uh, tea or coffee? Coffee. Take that or Spice Girls? Oof. Take that. Um, dog or cat? Cat. Cat. Batman or Superman? Superman. Uh, biscuits or cake? cake? Cake. I think the Take That Spice Girls was the one that challenge you the most that you had, to, you had to have a bit of a I mean both such you know iconic parts mm -hmm. of my early adolescence how, how could I choose but I think take that got there first probably mm -hmm. okay um well thank you so much for taking part in quiz for NHS and again it's such an honor to talk to a legend of university <laughs> thanks so much Bobby it's been great to talk to you okay thank you Jill.